everybody welcome to another video I am here in Brussels actually in Belgium and I just got off the flight uh, in my previous video I was in Frankfurt and I had been traveling around in Europe and then I took a little break I went to Poland actually <laughs> I had a flight to Warsaw in Poland and then I went to see some relatives and then now I'm here in Brussels and this is um, a train station in this video I will actually be going to the Caribbean back to the Caribbean but I have to sleep one night here in Brussels um, my plan was to film a bit here in the city but uh, the Sun kind of almost went down already so uh, I will probably just head into the train station here and then take the train and try to find my hotel and also it's starting to get a little bit cold here in Europe so it's about time that I head out back to the Caribbean and also I got a new camera DJI Osmo Action is the one that I'm filming on now uh, my GoPro 8 started leaking water actually when I was in Sardinia with Maria so now I uh, got this new action camera I think the angle is a bit wider you can see like uh, it's a really kind of like a fish eye lens but I think maybe my GoPro was better the GoPro 8 is already kind of old uh, now there's GoPro 11 but DJI they also make drones and now action cameras so I wanted to get this one and try it out so I'm gonna take a train it's like uh, with the car it would have been 10 minutes and I um, looked at uh, uber and uber ride would have been 40 euros like 40 dollars so I'm taking the train here instead for um, two dollars and fifty cents uh, <laughs> This hotel that I'm going to is located um, really close to the airport, so my flight is tomorrow morning. It's the first time I'm in Belgium, actually. I've never been in Belgium before. Brussels, Brussels sprouts. The summer in Europe had been nice and I had stayed a bit longer than I first thought I would. I had a great time visiting some incredible places but now this part of the world was getting a bit gloomy. It would be a short train ride and I almost fell asleep a bit but thought about some memories from the summer. single person it's actually kind of scary it's like you're all on the subway in New York in the middle of the night Let's see. Oh. here we can get out here what happened now I can't get out like we stopped and there's nobody here and the doors won't open Okay, thank you. Okay. 
arrived in Deegan. It's a bit scary here. <laughs> there was a bunch of um, graffiti on the train and uh, now I have to walk down the street here to find the uh, Ibis Hotel. It started raining. Oof. Good thing I have my only jacket is a rain jacket. <laughs> Great success. I have arrived to the hotel. There are a bunch of people here hiding from the rain. I have to check in here. Oh, hello! I have arrived, I have arrived. I'm soaked in water. I have arrived and um, I have this feeling that I'm in a cruise ship almost. I paid uh, $90 for one night here, uh, but it's expensive in Europe, as you probably already know. Here's a shower. <laughs> Here's a shower, a little shower, and a toilet also. Now I'm here, Hotel Ibis. After my uh, walk, I got so wet, it started raining so bad. But I made it and um, I have to wake up at about 5 in the morning tomorrow because the flight is leaving at 8. I couldn't find any other flight. Uh, so that's why I'm staying one night here before I go to the Dominican Republic. I've never been there. In the Caribbean. 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 <laughs> I am actually quite excited about it. But um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy about going there. <laughs> But at some point I want to find a place that I can call home. A place where I can stay and just feel like I don't have to go and travel. A place that I can just stay in and feel calm and relaxed. <laughs> I've been traveling for so long and it's really hard for me to stay in one place. I just can't. After I've been there for some time I just uh, get restless and I want to go somewhere, do something. You have to go everywhere see everything and do everything <laughs> before time runs out we have a limited time actually here on this planet and i think uh, life can just pass by like that usually that's what i feel like when i stay in one place for a long time and i come into a routine i think i've said this before but when i have a routine it's just like one month two months three months when i travel two or three months it feels like three years almost or like two years <laughs> <laughs> and that's the best part about traveling time is so slow it's like because I think it feels like it's slow because you, you do so much in such a short amount of time when you travel from one place to the next and that's great I really love that feeling when I feel like time is just slow and I uh, uh, it's perfect and I don't like it when I stay in one place and two months pass by like that I don't like that actually I'm afraid sometimes of getting older. I don't want to get old. <laughs> but time is pretty quick. Uh, yeah, it was not long ago that I was 25. We have to dry the bed a bit here, see? If there's any good bones in it. But it doesn't look like there will be any bones. Ow! No bones at all. Poof! It's because there are no springs, it's just a mattress and a wooden platform underneath. Also, one thing that is actually really good in some parts of the world, here in Europe, for example, you can drink the tap water and it tastes so good. But when I get back to uh, the Caribbean and South America and that part of the world, I'm gonna have to buy water all the time and that actually gets kind of frustrating, especially when I was in Mexico, I had to bring this 20 liter uh, water jug every few days and carry it home. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get some sleep now and I will see you in the morning and then we will be getting on the flight 
to the Caribbean. Hello, it's 4.50, uh, 4.56 and I have to be in the lobby at 5 <laughs> because I got a taxi that will take me to the airport. So let's head out. Here comes the taxi. That's my taxi, I think. William. Yeah? Okay. I can sit in the back. Or, uh... I have arrived to the airport here quite early, but still a lot of people here. I have to uh, go and check in to my flight, actually. I uh, did not have the option to check in online. So we have to go to the counter here and see if we can find it. So I went to check in, but unfortunately they made me check my bag. So now I have to bring out my small little backpack. They said my hand luggage was a little bit too heavy. Um, and also they couldn't find my booking at first. So I had to walk out of the line and go to speak to some other office. Uh, didn't seem like a very organized company. Tui, Tui flights. <laughs> but I got my boarding pass and I'm heading to the gate. And it's a direct flight to uh, Punta Cana. It's a tourist destination in the Dominican Republic. Kind of like Cancun in Mexico, I think. We're gonna take some uh, cologne here for free. We're gonna take some free cologne. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm on the plane here and my seat is 30F by the window. I hope no, it's not by the window actually. It's too bad. I got some extra leg room here. Great success. We were about to go across the Atlantic Ocean from Belgium all the way to the Dominican Republic. About 7,000 kilometers or 4,300 miles. It was really cold on the plane and just two hours into the flight I was getting quite restless and had to stand up and walk around for a bit but decided to get into the bathroom. Hello! It's been about two hours and uh, we are outside uh, the United Kingdom now. Uh, about eight more hours until we reach uh, Dominican Republic. I watched the movie and then went to the window and realized that we were going a bit higher up than usual above the ground. The TV monitor had indicated an altitude of 40,000 feet or 12,000 meters. Before I knew it, we were approaching the Dominican Republic, an island in the Caribbean connected to the country of Haiti and not far from the United States and many other islands such as Cuba and Puerto Rico. We have arrived, we have arrived. I had arrived in Punta Cana, a really famous tourist destination known for its incredible turquoise water and nice sand beaches. Oh, we have arrived, it's pretty hot here, must be about 30 Celsius, almost 90 Fahrenheit. And uh, here is the bus, I'll be getting on the bus and then we have to go through immigrations. 
We're going to see how that goes. Sometimes it takes forever to go through immigration. You get a tourist visa on arrival, and all you have to do before the flight is fill out a form online with basic information about your trip. Then you get a QR code and have to show that when you go through the immigration. You can stay 30 days or extend it to 90 days. So I got out of the airport and now I'm trying to get some money here uh, at the ATM. Uh, I'm gonna get 10,000 pesos, I think. I got my money and uh, somebody was talking to me over there for a while, asking if I wanna go in a taxi for $30 into the hotel zone. Yeah, yeah, it's like a peso US or whatever you want. I have pesos. I had asked three taxi drivers and they all said the price of $30 to get into the hotel zone. And I also did not find any buses. I was in the very east part of the island and had to go up just a bit further north to get to the hotels and the beach area. Who's the, 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 the seat part? Oh, the seat part. Okay. My plan at first was to stay two nights in a bit of a cheaper hotel to recover from my long flight and then go to an all-inclusive in the hotel zone. Hotel zone over there, in Bavaro. It's in Bavaro, zone. yeah. Pero in Bavaro. Uh, you speak both Spanish and English. You learn. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I had to pay 1,600 pesos or $30 for this 10-15 minute ride, which was a really expensive price. Okay, thank you very much, goodbye, okay, see you. I have arrived to the first hotel here. <laughs> Hello, I have a reservation. So I'm here at the first hotel, it's $30 per night. But uh, in the next video, I'll be going to an all-inclusive, I think. So, to see how that is. This hotel is called Maracas. Hello! The AC is on, so we have an AC here. <laughs> Which is good. So this place here in Punta Cana is more like a um, touristy place. And uh, I'm gonna head out down to the beach here in a little bit and check that out. See if we can find something fun to do. <laughs> but I will be staying here for a couple of days and then I will start my travels up uh, along the east, northeast and north side of uh, the Dominican Republic. I was reading that that's the best um, places or those are the best places. In the south, uh, it's not as good is what I, what I learned. Oh, I just discovered actually that they have Uber here. You can take an Uber to the airport for 600 Dominican pesos. I paid 1,600. So that's a good thing to know from now on when I start my travels up north, knowing that there's Uber and uh, I could go. Like worst case, if I don't find a bus, I'll just get an Uber. And I'm also considering buying a SIM card maybe. I should probably do that. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Everywhere I go. <laughs> this, William, this is you know Wilmy. me, Wilmy, William. And Wilmy. from Punta Cana Beach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have a shop here. Yeah, yeah shop. I'm He's gonna show me a shop. Or maybe yeah, yeah, some food maybe. For food. Yeah, where, where should no, I eat? No, this, I eat here? This one for oh. the This is the food here. Yeah, the food the chicken Dominican and rice. Wilmy. 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 Service, William, you. you know what I mean? Agua. I'm trying the food here now, and um, I also met this guy here. They have some kind of a shop. The chicken is pretty good. I was gonna go and fly the drone on the beach, but it started raining. So I got some chips. I went back to the hotel instead. I had some food. It was uh, 300 pesos. That's quite cheap. Uh, for the rice and chicken and water and uh, I also bought a beer for the guy that I met uh, that the beer was 150 I think I came out again it's too bad that it's raining but uh, I'm gonna go for a walk and see what this is what this place <laughs> is all about but it's uh, 
like uh, I think half a mile down to the beach this way. We'll see if I'll go there today or maybe tomorrow instead. Okay, how are you? <laughs> it's your motorcycle. Your motorcycle. Yeah. You, you. I'll take a video. I'm, I'm here. You, you it's and, your... uh, and my friend. Oh, okay. Friend. Okay. Bye. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's your motorcycle. You go motorcycle you video? Passive, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sit no, down, okay. sit down. It's yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. What's your name? Alcante. Alcante. Yeah, nice you. to meet you. Okay. William. William. Yeah. Where are you from? Sweden. Sweden. Ah, Sweden. 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 It's not very exciting here actually, but I'm going to an all-inclusive maybe in the next video. That should be better uh, down here by the beach that way, but it's it's raining too much. I think I'm gonna skip out on the beach for today actually. To, to My, remember, new, to, to remember Robin Hood? <laughs> what you say? Your name is Robin Hood. But you take from the rich then. Give it to the... That's like they say. I, I'm not rich, so <laughs> I'm the wrong person. Let me show you, maybe you can, I'm joking. I'm not joking. That's a weird name. If you're from Switzerland, I'm Switzerland. never lying. Ah, okay. Ro oh, Robin Wood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Yeah. Robin Hood. Yeah. See, I'm, 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 I don't write you. I don't have the nickname. I don't know my nickname. Oh, Robin Hood is here. Yes. My friend Robin Hood. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me show you. It's a barbershop here. Yeah. Cigar. Cigar. Yeah. Hello. You need a haircut? No. no. I'm yeah. fine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. So now we're going to the casino. This casino, yes. <laughs> but you know, I don't think Will no gambling for me. Yeah. No gambling. No. You're gonna gamble. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> gamble. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Mucho gusto. <laughs> Mi nombre es Mike. Mi nombre es William. Oh, Soy de Suecia. El muy buen chico. Yeah. Muy buen chico. Serio? Is good. Ah. Muy good. Yeah, you say me, good <laughs> ah. chico, good home. Serio, serio. Todo bien. Todo Santa Domingo, Santa Republica. Domingo, Republica. <laughs> wow, cute bitch. <laughs> right you got cigar? I got everything you want right here. I don't need a cigar. There's a pack. You make a whole cigar. You want to smoke? Okay. No, no, no. Let me give you the first cigar. I don't smoke. Hola. To show your shop to the people. Hey, yeah? Dominican Republic. Very good. Cigarritos. Cigar, cigar, cigar factory in Germany. Cigar factory, it's good. You it's have many cigars here. from uh, Dominican Republic. Of course, all my cigars are wow. authentic premium cigars, my man. Very nice. I take some photos. Look, smell. Just rolled. Just, mm. just rolled. Still wow. moist. Yeah. It's still moist, my man. Wow, that's cool. Just and rolled. here's where you make them. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Sir. Natural cigar. Natural cigar. Natural cigar and natural cigar. Cigar, cigar. Twenty minutes later. Yes. Oh, we came out of the casino. Real I couldn't casino, film it, yeah, but I, I did win. Money. I won. Now I have nine hundred. Yeah, so I won a little bit. I'm so I'm gonna buy a beer for my friend. Yeah, yeah. for my friend. For <laughs> maybe I will try a beer also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for one beer. Me. One beer for Will. One beer and one for me. Yeah. A beer also. Which one is the most popular here in Dominican Republic? In Dominican? The popular uh, for Dominican Republic. This Republic. one. Presidente. Yeah, Presidente. Okay. After this one. After this one. Uh -huh. Yeah, after that, the beer for Dominican. It's big, it's too big. big. Yes, this one. President? President. Should I take one of these? Take one of this? You want this? One for me, one for you. One for you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a monopoly for the chicken people. Yeah, it's good. Hello, you're back. <laughs> I came back from the bar and um, I met actually a lot of Canadians and Americans and they had lived here for like between 5 to 12 years I think and they told me uh, about a lot of things and how it works here in the Dominican Republic I, yeah I did learn some valuable information here from the, uh, the Canadians and Americans and I had one beer uh, yeah just one beer and now it's 
like 7 p.m. I think but I'm quite tired after my flight so I'm gonna maybe go to sleep here in a little bit but thanks for watching this video I will be going to an all-inclusive resort and uh, that should be really interesting so don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video and also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching but see you next time